This video will show how Cable Equity works with Inventure 2011 and also some major functionalities of Cable Equity itself. First, I'll show the major categories of components in the Cable Equity database. I'll click on the gallery to open the menu that lists the 13 component categories in the database. For example, connectors, backshells, cable materials, terminals, connector accessories, miscellanies, connector hardware, contacts, and electromechanical devices. After components are selected for all locations of the design, I'll go to the Turbo Configurator screen to make the configuration of our cable or harness assembly. First, I'll hide all dimensions on the screen to begin manipulating the branches of the cable assembly so I can rotate and place them in the positions that I want. To make electrical connections between the ends of the cable, first from the drop down I'll select the cable material and I'll put the location reference designator on one side and on the other. On the pop up I'll enter the signal name for the two selected contacts for this electrical connection. Let's call it signal 1. Once I click OK, the signal appears in the lower portion of the screen. Now I'll show how Cable Equity creates six different assembly drawings with the touch of one button. In the revision menu, I'll select assembly drawing. In the pop-up box, I'll choose the company name which will go in the title blocks of the generated drawings. I'll confirm to view the drafting process. Here you can see the automated process of the assembly drawing. Cable Equity gathers information from its database and libraries for all selected components in the design and places this information automatically into the drafting sheet. The components are put together based on the configuration from the Turbo Configurator screen. Now we can see the wire list being generated. And here Cable Equity is creating the bill of materials. After this, the nail board is created. And here's the final assembly. After all the assembly drawings are completed, I'll minimize the screen and go back to the revision menu to automatically generate the schematic for this design. Here the schematic is also generated in a fully automated process. Again, pulling together data from the database and, a, and connectivity information from the Turbo Configurator screen. Once the schematic is completed, Cable Equity is ready to transfer the design data to a 3D mechanical application, such as Inventor, SolidWorks, IronCAD, and others. The integration of these 3D applications can be done directly in Cable Equity or within each of the listed applications. For example, I'll show how this can be done from within Inventor 2011. I'll close Cable Equity and start Inventor 2011. Once Inventor starts, I'll select the tur Turbo Tools add-in for Inventor in the menu bar, and then I'll select Open New Assembly. Once the new assembly opens, you'll see the Cable Equity Project Manager appear in Inventor's panel on the left. Again, just like in Cable Equity, you can select your product, project, design, and then your appropriate revision. 
When a revision is selected, the Project Manager toolbar buttons are activated. For example, you can access the 2D Workspace pull-down menu and execute any commands from this menu without Cable Equity running. Clicking on the 3D Models Transfer button will transfer all 3D solid models for all components which have been selected for this design in Cable Equity into Inventor. Components will transfer individually and you can see them appear in this panel. When all components are transferred, each component can be moved and placed in any location of your 3D model layout. This is the first back shell. And this is another back shell. This is a CPC connector. And this is a D sub connector. This is the third back shell for the CPC connector. And finally, this is another D sub connector. You can rotate these components in a true 3D environment in this panel as well. And that's how Cable Equity is integrated with 3D mechanical CAD applications like Inventor.